Hey Jack, how's it going man? Good thanks. Uh, tonight's going to be a great night. The meteor shower that we predicted is set to happen around 1045. That's great man, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, but listen, I have some stuff to do, papers to uh, get finished, and uh, in the meantime we'll see you around. Okay, see you around. Hey Stan, how does everything appear to be according to your observations? Oh hi, everything seems to be fine at the moment. Uh, there have been reports of technical faults aboard, aboard the ISS Zarya. And uh, from what we've heard from Captain Ron Parsons, uh, things have been pretty good in the last two hours. He hasn't noticed anything strange. And uh, can only hope for the best. But, uh, yeah. Really? That's, that's kind of frightening. I'm glad to hear the latest news. It isn't too bad. I guess we'll have to keep it on that then. Yeah, we can only hope for the best in this point in time. All right, Stan, we'll see you around. Keep us posted if you know any, anything happens, okay? Oh, sorry, Stan the man. I didn't mean to scare you like that. Oh, not to worry. What's up, man? I wanted to tell you that an alarm sounded in the lower hall. It could be a, it could be an electrical surge, or it could be the result of the thunderstorm that's brewing outside. It looks pretty bad. So, in other words, nothing's too serious then. That's the thing. I don't know. It's unusual for thunderstorms to occur in December, let alone the alarm to settle up sound like that. It's really been kind of an odd day. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that we should be monitoring the Zara as there are still problems on board this, that space station. Oh my. Okay, I'll see what I can do. But for now, take her easy, Jack, and uh, we'll see you around. Yep, everything seems to be normal. The celestial patterns are linear, the atmosphere is clear of debris. Oh yes, everything's so... Wait, what was that? The new program, page 42, should say driver for 16,000 newtons. What's happened, Sam? I think we may have a problem. I saw what looked to be an asteroid coming towards the vicinity of Earth, and uh, it was located just outside the asteroid belt last I checked. Hi! I saw that! Yeah. What do we do? <laughs> you guys might want to take a look at this. The object is going into a lunar pattern. Wait, what's the fuss about? Wait, it just changed direction. What do you mean it changed direction? Let me see here. According to the scale over the top of the lens, the object's path changed 10 degrees in the telescope, which is approximately a real change of 6 degrees, or a shift of 600 feet north northwest. Uh, this is not good. Uh, take a look at this. Well, what could it be? Throughout the course of my career here, I've never known of a celestial object such an asteroid, to move course that quickly or considerably. Hmm. I'm going to take a better look at this. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to notify the NASA headquarters in Washington immediately. We need to take action as soon as possible, considering we don't know what exactly this is. And uh, Dave, while I phone Washington, keep an eye on the situation to make sure nothing else gets out of hand. Record as much information as you can, and uh, we'll monitor the subject from there. Um, Sounds good. Let's do it right now. Okay. Good.
afternoon. You have reached NASA headquarters, Washington. What is your concern or inquiry? Hello, ma'am. I'm Stanley Richardson of NASA Center number 0012, Hampton, Virginia, and I'm calling to report something could, that could potentially be serious. Just hang on for a moment, Stanley. You will be transferred to another agent. That's fine. I've got all day. Hello. Is there an immediate problem, sir? What are the circumstances? Oh, hi. I'm Stanley Richardson from NASA Hampton, and my colleagues and I spotted a large, fast-moving and abnormal object heading towards the upper troposphere. Okay. And I think it may be a very large asteroid. However, this object has been changing direction, which is abnormal for a celestial object of that size. We'll see what we can find on the radar, and let you know as soon as we encounter anything out of the ordinary. Okay, thanks. That would be greatly appreciated. Hey Jack, it's 3 o'clock, I think I'm going to go home for the day, and uh, so we'll see you tomorrow, but you know, if you hear of anything else, keep me posted, if you hear anything regarding this uh, alien object. I sure will, buddy. It sounds pretty scary, huh? It sure is, it's just a fear of the unknown at this point in time. But uh, anyways, we'll see you around, stay safe, and take care. Okay, make sure you get some rest, it's been a stressful day. Hello? Hey Stanley, that object you were talking about seems to be a satellite that's lost its ability. Has re entered the exosphere about 250 miles above the surface of the Earth. That can't be. This object I spotted on the telescope didn't show up as a registered satellite in the radar tracking system, so this can't be possible. Well, sir, what else could it be? We have confirmed that. Damn, what else could possibly go wrong? Rick, come check this out immediately. Yes, sir. The object is constantly getting closer to Earth and appears to be changing its course again. It can't be satellite. It, it's way too large. It moves as if it's. That's just a man spacecraft! Look, the radar just flickered. It appears that some type of code is coming up on the screen. My lord, this could be. These, these could be. Aliens! Oh my god! What's this on TV? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the United States of America. This is your president speaking. I, on behalf of all Americans, would like to make an important television statement. We have confirmation from the Nassau centers in Hampton, Virginia, that an alien ship is headed directly for Earth. We have no additional information on the whereabouts of this identified flying object or if it is a threat. We were taking heavy precautionary measures to properly address the situation. We ask that all citizens stay indoors until we can confirm that there is no further danger. Different military groups in the US have all been notified about this and are ready for the worst. This is not only a threat to Americans, this is also a threat to people on a global scale. Thank you for your time. God bless and stay this strong. Just in, reports an object the size of Rhode Island heading towards Earth that filled the airwaves. Breaking news on Fox an alien spaceship caught in the radar of many NASA aerospace stations across the country has sparked the interest of many American citizens. He shoots, he scores! Those are today's sports plays of the week. Back to you, Peter. Yes, thank you, John. Here are today's top stories. A mass weather system producing thunderstorms moving across the New England states. Very rare for December is quickly approaching the state of Virginia. There have been sightings confirmed by NASA that an object the size of Rhode Island is heading directly to Earth but is slowing down in speed. There, this is still a developing story but everybody should take cover immediately. This object might be the cause of these abrupt weather. My god, I'd better get the kids. Come on, kids, we have to get home quickly, okay? Dad, why did you pick us up so early? Dad, can we get some ice cream on the way home, pretty please? Kids, you don't understand. We cannot get anything because something seriously wrong is happening. Look around you. Let's hurry and get home. Come on. Hello? Judy, it's Stanley. 
Stanley, I've been worried about you. Listen, I'm completely fine. I'm taking the kids home from school as we speak. I don't know what is going on, but I do know it's serious. Apparently an unidentified manned spaceship has entered the atmosphere. Oh my word, this is unbelievable. I'm so glad you have the kids. I'm at the corner of Rosedale and 52nd Street right now, and I'll be home in a few minutes. Meet me at home, okay, dear? Okay, sweetheart. Come on, kids. Come on, kids, let's go. We have to get home right now. Come on, little guy. Hey, what's that in the sky? Run guys, come on, don't worry about your shoes. Come right through. In the corner, it's the safest place. Get down and stay low. Cover your head.